Welcome King Ravan on channel. Please subscribe the channel. 9. Best Festivals of Tamil Nadu These are some of the festivals of Tamil Nadu which showcases in the vibrant culture of the state and reflects the year-old traditions. Pongal Festival. Vinayaka Chaturthi Festival. Thiruvayaru Festival. Thaipusam Festival. Natyanjali Dance Festival. Mahamaham Festival. Tamil New Year's Day Festival. Deepavali Festival. Karthagai Deepam Festival. 1. Pongal. Celebrated for four simultaneous days, this festival is one of the most important festivals of Tamil Nadu. Pongal is the harvest festival in Tamil Nadu which is celebrated for four days. All the four days have their sort of importance as well as celebrations and rituals. The four days celebration of Pongal in Tamil Nadu starts with the day named Bogi. Prayers to Lord Indra are made on this day. New things are bought. Old things are burnt in the bonfire. The next day, on Thai Pongal. People wear new clothes and couples make offerings of sugarcane and coconut into the river. Cows are highly decorated on the third day. Cows are worshipped. The last day of this harvest festival of Tamil Nadu, Kanam Pongal, families take a visit to their relatives. Gifts are exchanged, and the festival ends on a happy note. The dish that they eat on this day is also called as Pongal. The first rice after harvest is boiled and served first to the sun god and then to the people. Kolam, the rangoli or the pattern made by women at the entrances of their houses with colored rice and powder, starts to be made a month in advance. The whole month is very auspicious. This month is known as Margali. Date. The 14th to the 17th of January. 2. Thiruvayaru Festival. Thiruvayaru is a famous music festival that is celebrated in Thanjavur in Tamil Nadu. Saint Thyagaraja is a renowned music composer and this festival is dedicated to him. On Pushya Bahula Panchami Day, Saint Thyagaraja attained Samadhi and so this festival is celebrated every year on this day. Every year in the month of January, a lot of composers come to Thanjavur for attending the festivities of this grand festival. One of the most popular festivals of Tamil Nadu, Thanjavur promotes the Carnatic and classical music. This festival is also celebrated in Mauritius, USA, and Nigeria. All music lovers should attend this festival and witness the traditions and rituals performed near the Samadhi of Thyagaraja. Date. The 15th of January 2021. 3. Thaipusam. Thaipusam is celebrated on the full moon day of the Thai month in the Tamil calendar in Tamil Nadu. The younger son of Lord Shiva was born on this day. His name is Lord Sebramaniam. People take vows and keep them. They believe that if they would take vows in front of Lord Sebramaniam, he would ensure that they keep their vows forever. The important ritual observed on this day is the sight of the Kavadi bearer. They carry a Kavadi on their shoulder, which is a wooden stick with two pots attached at both ends of it. They wear dresses like that of a Pandaran. Pandaran is the people who live on alms alone. These devotees prefer to hold the pots empty at the beginning and fill them by asking and begging for alms. This is the day of repentance and penance and the devotees feel more connected and close to God. They can be seen walking barefoot all over the streets towards the temple. They feel no pain and scars and try to get rid of the very idea of suffering that is just a relative thing. One interesting ritual that can be observed on this day is the Agni Kavadi. Devotees are barefooted with their pots on their shoulders and they are supposed to walk barefoot on the burning coal spread out on the ground. Date. The 28th of January. 4. Natyanjali Dance Festival. The Festival of Dances. Dance has been considered to be the greatest ways of connecting with their souls and thus in turn connecting with our Oversoul, the Lord. Dance has been a crucial part of Indian culture throughout the ages. Lord Shiva has a form known as Nataraja. This festival is celebrated to offer tribute to Lord Nataraja who is believed to be the Lord of Dances. He is the most powerful and the most loved God in the Hindu tradition. The Nataraja Temple at Chidambaram in Tamil Nadu is the place where one can observe this dance festival in its greatest form. The meaning of the word Natya is dance and the meaning of the word Anjali is offering. The offering to the Lord through our dance performance is the basic idea of this festival. Almost 500 dancers from all over the country come to this place to give their offerings. The dances performed are the classical ones. 
Bharatanatyam, Mahiniyatam, Kathak, Kuchipudi, and more traditional and classical dances are observed. February and March are the two months in which this festival can be observed. The greatest festival of North India, Maha Shivaratri, marks the beginning of this four-day-long dance festival of Tamil Nadu. All the diverse cultures come to Tamil Nadu from different parts of India to celebrate this festival in their ways. There are no restrictions on the dance forms or anything. The unity and diversity can be seen in its full-fledged form. Date. The 19th to the 23rd of February. 5. Mahamaham. Kumbakonam is the small town of Tamil Nadu where this festival is celebrated in every 12 years. It is organized in a massive way. This festival has the grandeur of both Indian as well as Greek festivals. People gather near a tank called Mahamaham tank to take a bath. Taking a bath from the tank is considered as sacred as taking a bath in the kumbh organized in the northeast state of Priyag Raj in India. The scientific or the astrological idea about this festival is that Jupiter enters the Leo sign in the constellation once in 12 years according to our calendar. The purification of all our sins takes place when we take a bath from that auspicious tank. There is a huge crowd gathered at this place in Tamil Nadu on this day. People from other countries also visit there and take a bath from the Mahamaham tank. Date. The 8th of March. 6. Tamil New Year's Day. The Tamil New Year's Day festival is observed in April as the middle of April is the beginning of the first month of the Tamil calendar, Puthandu. The culture of making designs and patterns with flowers, colors, and rice is very popular in South India. On this day, women can be seen making beautiful columns or rangolas in front of their houses. The entrance of the house is decorated. People take a shrine bath and then they visit the temples. The temple Kani is visited in particular. It is the most auspicious temple for starting some new things. One needs to visit there once. Golds, beetle leaves, and many more things are to be seen in plenty almost everywhere on this day. Foods are an important part of festivals. People eat delicious food on this day. A sweet and sour dish is made. Mangoes and jaggeries are mixed with neem to make this tasty food. It is known as manga pachati. Date. The 14th of April. 7. Karthagai Deepam. Karthagai Deepam is the festival of lights which marks the beginning of good vibes and positivity in our life. The Tamil calendar plays an important part in understanding the various festivals of Tamil Nadu. Karthagai, the month in the Tamil calendar that is in November and December, this festival is celebrated. The moon is observed to align with the constellation named Karthagai. Thus, the name of the festival comes from here. This festival makes people aware of the good and the bad. People leave all their anxieties and even the poorest of the poor would get some new clothes to wear on this day. Meeting their relatives and exchanging gifts among themselves is the beauty of this festival. The story behind this festival is also very interesting to know. It is believed that on this day in Tamil Nadu, Lord Shiva appeared on earth. The deeps of the lights are lit with ghee and camphor. These two materials are considered auspicious, pure and sacred in Hindu tradition. The huge fire is burnt and people gather around singing and shouting slogans and mantras. People can be heard saying, Anamalayar Arohara. The central attraction of this festival for the visitors and tourists is the huge fair organized at several places in Tamil Nadu. This festival and the fair on this day must be observed by everyone on the planet because it is very auspicious. Date. 10th December 8. Deepavali. Deepavali or Diwali is one of the largest Indian festivals celebrated across the country with supreme pomp and zeal. It is also known as the, Festival of Lights. It is a time for families to come together, hold reunions, adorn their homes with lights, pray to Goddess Lakshmi for prosperity. While the northern states of India fondly cite the festival as Diwali, it is popularly known as Deepavali, Deep, meaning lights, lamps, Valley, meaning array, in the South Indian states and other Asian nations like Singapore, Malaysia, etc. However, it is celebrated with similar vigor. The Hindu festival of Deepavali is celebrated to mark the return of Lord Rama, an incarnation of Lord Vishnu, from a 14-year exile and after triumphing over the demon King Ravana. It symbolizes the victory of good over evil, light over darkness, truth over falsehoods, and purity over adulteration. It is celebrated on the first night of the new moon, supposedly the darkest night Hindu calendar month of Kartik. In rural Karnataka, the celebration is accompanied by several interesting rituals apart from just worshipping goddess Lakshmi, like cultural programs and competitions, etc. 
In the urban parts of Karnataka, Deepavali revolves around worshipping both Goddess Lakshmi as well as Lord Vishnu. While Goddess Lakshmi is adored for wealth and prosperity, Lord Vishnu is worshipped for his triumphant victory over Bali. People deck up their homes with lights or lamps, floral arrangements, rangoli, and more to celebrate the festival. People also commemorate by donating to the less fortunate and underprivileged. Iwali in Tamil Nadu. Diwali or Deepawali usually falls in either October or November each year. The Festival of Lights runs for five days, with the main event happening on the third day in most places in India. It's associated with Lord Ram's return to his kingdom in Ayodhya after exile and rescuing his wife from demon King Ravan on Dussehra. Deepavali Muharat which usually overlaps with Brahma Muharat is considered very significant for taking an oil bath in Tamil Nadu this Tamil Deepavali falls on November 4. 9. Vinayaka Chaturthi. As per the Hindu calendar, there are two Chaturthi dates in each lunar month. And, it is believed that Chaturthi days are dedicated to Lord Ganesha, also known as Vinayaka or Vinharta. The Chaturthi which falls in Shukla Paksha after Amavasya is called Vinayaka Chaturthi and the one which is marked in Krishna Paksha after Purnima is called Sankashti Chaturthi respectively. On January 16, Vinayaka Chaturthi Vrat will be observed. Although, Vinayaka Chaturthi Vrat or fast is observed each month it is said that the Vinayaka Chaturthi which falls during the month of Bhadrapada is most auspicious. Also, Vinayaka Chaturthi falling during Bhadrapada month is called Ganesh Chaturthi, the birth of Lord Ganpati. The 10-day long Ganesh Chaturthi festival usually takes place in the month of September. It is celebrated Pan-India but holds greater significance in Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu all over India. Vinayaka Chaturthi Vrat Date and Timings, January 16, 2021, Saturday Vinayaka Chaturthi 11-28-13-34 Pasha, Shukla Chaturthi begins 7-45, January 16 ends 8-08, January 17. Rituals of Vinayaka Chaturthi. On this day, devotees observe fast or vrat and begin their day early by taking bath, wearing new clothes and praying to Lord Ganesha for his blessings. After taking Sankalp and sitting in dhyana or meditation for some time, devotees can pray and offer prasad to the Lord. One can break the fast only after seeing the moon and performing puja and reciting Ganesh mantra. Devotees believe that their wishes will be fulfilled and Vinaharta will remove all the obstacles in their life as Lord Ganesha symbolizes that. One can also prepare Lord Ganesha's favorite sweet, modak, and offer him as prasad. It can also be distributed amongst others after offering it to the god. The Vinayaka Chaturthi Vrat is observed by Lord Ganesha believers. Vinayaka Chaturthi is also known as Varad Vinayaka Chaturthi which simply means urging the Lord to fulfill one's desire. Devotees who observe this Vrat are believed to be blessed with patience and wisdom by the Lord. Ganpati Puja is performed during the Muharat time mentioned above in the afternoon or midday. The days and dates of Vrat timing can differ from place to place depending upon sunrise and sunset time.